One of the features we offer with Cubot V3 is a laser offset. And what the laser offset is, is a distance between a laser pointer. Now we offer a laser pointer. It's called the laser precision pointer. It's a very, very fine dot that sits next to the needle, but not, it doesn't point to where the needle goes through. It points in a different location that is easy to see when you're setting points for in the ditch stitching or stitching around applique. It's, it greatly reduces the fatigue of that process. Uh, but we, to, to get it, all of that to work together, we have a calibration routine because the QBot app needs to know where that laser pointer is pointing in relation to where the real needle is pointing. If it pointed, if the laser pointer pointed right where the needle was, the offset would be zero. But to get the most use or best effective use, we want that laser pointer to point off to the side where it's very clear to see uh, the dot. If we look at our needle cam here, I will zoom in. I'll try to zoom in. You can see here's a traditional uh, foot. We've got that ruler foot as our quilting foot. And just right here in this location right here, you can see that fine dot right there. And what we want to do is, with the calibration routine is to know the distance between where the needle goes through and where that dot is. And then Cubot can do the math and make sure that if you select points using the offset, that everything lines up properly. So we go into our, let me go back so we can see the main screen. We go into our quilting options. And then the calibration that we want to do is this offset calibration. It's in the lower right of the quilting options menu. And I will reset it just so that we can start from start from zero, zero. So right now the default is that there's no offset because maybe you don't have a uh, the laser precision pointer. So if there's no offset, so the needle is where the needle is and if you accidentally hit the use offset button when you select points, nothing will happen because the default is zero, zero. Well, we want to change that because we do have the precision laser. So what we're going to do is press the start button uh, for the offset calibration and it says we get a little menu that says sync needle in fabric then press OK. Now I like to put the a piece of tape over the fabric because depending on the fabric if it's a super duper tight weave and you've got it stretched taut on your frame you'll get a nice hole but if it's an open weave the hole size that you'll get is pretty large actually when it's all said and done and it's not as precise as you could be. And since we don't have to calibrate all the time, you really just have to calibrate once, and maybe after you've attached the, the laser pointer to the machine, maybe calibrate in a day or two as the adhesives and things settle, you can do that again. We're not doing this all the time, so we want to be as precise as possible. I put a piece of tape on top of the fabric it's just a, a nice rigid piece and when I sink the needle I'm only going to sink the needle about halfway. I'm not going to go all the way through. I want as tiny a hole that I can see as possible. So it says sink needle in fabric and then press OK. I sink the needle in the fabric just a tiny bit and I say OK. Now it says raise needle and move pointer to same location and press OK. So there's the hole that I made. Let me go just a little bit and I'll try to zoom in. There we go. I can zoom in. And I'm going to go right until that, right until that laser pointer go, falls in that hole. So it gets very dim. So not there, not there, not there, not there, but right, right in there. I want to be very, very precise and then say OK. And there it is. My delta X is 1.40 and my delta Y is minus 0.08. And it is saved and then you hit the back arrow to get back to your main screen and you're all calibrated. So let's use the laser offset and see what it looks like when we are quilting. The use offset checkbox shows up anytime you can set a point
The checkbox will be there, which allows you to use the laser or not use the laser. So let's go into pattern quilting. And there my checkbox is checked. The default, when you start up a quilting session, the default is unchecked. So if you get into a routine where you're always using the laser pointer, you love it so much that you continue to use it, just remember every time you turn off the tablet or, or restart the app, the default is unchecked. So you want to check it. So we check that box. Now, throughout the remainder of your quilting session, as long as the app's been open, that checkbox will, is, will stay checked for you. So if you want to check, if you want to use the needle as your uh, set point pointer, you uncheck the box. And we'll do that right now. We're going to set some points. So I'm going to set a point here. I'm going to use the tap anywhere feature to set my other points. So you, you can see I'm tapping in the right hand screen to set points. Now let's say I want to set a point up in here, but it's much more convenient for me to use the needle as the, as the guide. So I go in here and you just watch what happens to that blue dot. Right now it's where the, um, right now it's where the laser pointer is pointing. As soon as I turn that off, you can see the dot goes over to where the needle is to truly represent the point of the needle. So then I align my my quilting head there to where to this point here we'll look at the through the needle cam and say that's where I want this point is to be right there. So I uncheck my use offset and I set a point there. And then if I want to then follow on and select points using the offset, I just turn it back on and use the offset. It's really that easy. Once you get used to looking over at that laser pointer and away from the needle, you will find that it is such a stress relief to be able to see the points that you're, that you're aligning to. It is wonderful when you're, when you're selecting, say, the next row or, yeah, the next row of the, an edge to edge and you have to dovetail into the previously sewn row. That laser dot, when it hits the thread, it just highlights it and you, can, you know exactly that that point is on the previous, previously stitched line. The same thing when you're doing ditch stitching and you're looking and, and if you have a laser dot, as soon as that dot falls into the ditch, you know that you're in the ditch. You don't have to look around <clears throat> the needle to see anything. It's, it's very reassuring and a, a real stress saver. Enjoy using the laser precision pointer and the laser offset feature with Cubot V3. And if you haven't always subscribe, or I guess only have to subscribe once, but always check out our Yahoo group. You can see the link below in the description and subscribe to our Instagram account so you can get day to day, hour to hour. Well, never really hour to hour, but you can get some day to day updates and you can see what we're doing here in the studio. And until next time, happy quilting.